President Donald Trump used a mind-numbing analogy Tuesday in an attempt to put the coronavirus pandemic in perspective. During a one-on-one -on -one interview with ABC's David Muir in Arizona, Trump talked about the mortality rate during the COVID-19 crisis. Per CNBC. I always felt 60, 65, 70, as horrible as that is. I mean, you're talking about filling up Yankee Stadium with death. So I thought it was horrible. But it's probably going to be somewhat higher than that, he said to Muir. By 60, 65, 70, Trump was talking about tens of thousands. Yankee Stadium, by the way, holds 54,000. More than 71,000 people in the U.S. have died from the, the coronavirus. But Monday, a coronavirus prediction model used by the White House predicted that 134,000 Americans will die of COVID-19 before the pandemic is over. Coronavirus Resources, Live Map Tracker, Newsletter, Homepage. During his interview with Muir, Trump acknowledged that reopening the country now will mean more COVID-19 victims, but justified it by saying the benefits of restarting the economy outweigh those expected deaths. It's possible there will be some deaths because you won't be locked into an apartment or house or whatever it is. But at the same time, we're going to practice social distancing, we're going to be washing hands, we're going to be doing a lot of the things that we've learned to do over the last period of time. There'll be more death, that the virus will pass, with or without a vaccine. And I think we're doing very well on the vaccines, but, with or without a vaccine, it's going to pass, and we're going to be back to normal. That followed up Trump's remarks earlier Tuesday, when he admitted that his restart plan is less than ideal. I'm not saying anything is perfect. Yes, will some people be affected? Yes, will some people be affected badly? Yes, but we have to get our country opened and we have to get it open soon. Tell us your coronavirus stories, whether it's a news tip, a topic you want us to cover, or a personal story you want to share. Thank you for relying on us to provide the journalism you can trust. Please consider supporting NJ.com with a voluntary subscription. Mike Rosenstein may be reached at mrosenstein at njadvancemedia.com.